Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Heather Elizabeth. Welcome to Antique Agenda. And today I have ventured out of the house to do one of my favorite things. We're going to go antique shopping together and we are visiting the Colorado Antique Gallery. So let's just have a fun time exploring and see what kind of treasures we can discover here at one of Denver's biggest antique malls. Okay, let's get inside and have some fun. Got a full shelving unit of Spode Blue Room China and serving pieces. I love this one. This is the Italian. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't say the pattern name on the back, but I'm thinking this is one of the Italian scenes in a extra large nappy dish. We love that. That's only $13. And we have some gorgeous blue room plates. Look at the ginger jar. How much is the ginger jar? Ginger jar is only $18.95. That's great. I love this stuff. So awesome. I love all of it. Oh, there's some more ginger jars up here at the top. Oh!
Well, my goodness, did I have a wonderful time wandering around the Colorado Antique Gallery. Now, it has been a few days since I actually visited, but I shared all of my favorite things with you. It's a huge place, so you could get lost wandering around all of the rows and looking at all of the booths. It's enough to tucker a girl out, so I had to wait until a few days later to show you what I brought home. And I did find in the 50% off booth in this showcase, tucked in a little corner, a wonderful little selection of hat pins. And I decided to take home four of them for my personal collection. Two of them are smaller and two of them are the longer style. So these are the two smaller ones that I chose to bring home. I definitely think these are probably from the 1920s. They're much smaller when hat styles uh, were more like a little cap. Uh, and so this one especially looks very deco to me. And these were, with the 50% off, this ended up being $2.50, and this one was $4. So wonderful take home price to add these to my pin cushion filled with the smaller hat pins that I have. And these are the longer hat pins that I chose. One of them with some lovely hand painted and rhinestone details on these purple glass beads. Uh, this one I thought was very precious and uh, would match some of the other hat pins I have that are purple glass as well. Uh, so I did pick this one up. This was $12 originally, so this ended up being $6 to take home. And then this piece, a lot larger, and with the black on black, I do think this could have been worn uh, with uh, morning attire. And I absolutely love these. When you find hat pins that are longer than nine inches, it is really easy to date them from the Edwardian era, which was about a decade from 1900 to 1910. And that was when a lot of the hat fashions got really, really big. So they would need a large hat pin to keep that humongous hat on their huge hairstyle. <laughs> so they needed to keep it all together from blowing off in the wind. So you would need a huge hat pin like this to pop through the hat into the top of their bun as close to the scalp as possible and out through the other side. And that was how they kept those humongous hats on their fancy little heads. <laughs> so by about 1913, these longer hat pins became outlawed because they were deemed too dangerous for the public, too many folks were getting poked, and the Edwardian ladies were fond of using these as defense mechanisms to ward off any unwanted advances from a gentleman. So you can be pretty sure if you find a hat pin that is longer than nine inches, which was the cutoff for the appropriate and legal length of a hat pin by 1913, then you know your hat pin was from the Edwardian era. And it's a wonderful collection if you're interested in women's fashion. And I think it has a wonderful anecdotal history. No matter what size hat pin you like, they are beautiful to display in a sugar shaker, in a vase, in a pin cushion. So many wonderful designs, so many different sizes because hats were all different sizes at different times during different fashion trends. Let me know what you think of antique hat pins and whether you have a collection or would like to start one. I think they are beautiful little articles of history and so much fun to display with in your English cottage or French country home. Just adds that little bit of fancy that we all love. So thanks for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up on your way out and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet. Thanks again for watching. Until I see you all again, take care of yourselves and bye for now. I am completely inspired by these little assemblages 
in the antique baby shoes. I think they're amazing. I need to create one of these. This is a little car and look at this one. I love this one. Little bells and a teddy bear and a tree. So simple, but absolutely adorable. I love these. They're full of whimsy and charm.